Hello everybody, my name is Melandria Sherwin and welcome to part three of Finger Bones. Alright, so when I went to go look at the walkthrough, I tried to go back into the game and it... <laughs> so, I had to start over again. Thankfully I wasn't too far into the game and I was able to get back. But what the walkthrough told me is that I am not looking at the right code yet. To at least to open this door. I don't have all the information to open that door yet. But I needed a, a keyword to open that. And that keyword, my friend, is what he had been talking about in all of his notes. Freedom. I would have gotten that eventually. Eventually. Because I am smart. Kind of. Freedom. I won't let you down. Love it, song. I just, this is infuriating that I can't, like, walk faster. I don't have a faster walking pace. People on crutches have a faster walking pace than this. Just saying. Okay. Kruchunk! Hooray! Uh, Why? Why? Why are you flickering? Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. I am free now. Freedom! It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. I said she's not really gone, is she? No, she's in here. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh good, there's blood. Oh good, there's more blood. Oh good. Okay, there's- oh, there's blood- oh, that's a lot of blood. Okay! And I misread the- one of the letters. It's her- it's his stepdaughter. Seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. <sighs> I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You just murdered a kid! Of course you did! Oh no. Oh, uh oh, hang on. I need to move my camera farther down. Bloop. Oh, the father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He's wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her even now. Hey, I wasn't done reading that. Game crashed again. Mm, why is the game crashing? Why, why, why? Okay. I'll be right back. I have to do everything, everything over again. Oh, good. Everything over again. Okay, be right back.
Okay, we're back. Hooray. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I don't have headphones on right now. Okay, 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 let's see. Mark from yeah, 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 I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, I uh, love the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. I'm oh, sorry, being tired. He's... Hashtag one last time. Game crashed again. Fucking A, what is up with this damn game? All right, I'm gonna have to end it here. I'm gonna have to look at some of the forums or maybe it's my computer or I don't know. So I will get back to you on that. This is really frustrating and really annoying and I wanna stab it in the face with one of the finger bones. Okay, so I actually spoke with the developer and it turns out that was the ending. And my game wasn't crashing, my game wasn't doing anything when it fades away and it fades into black and then it goes back to your desktop. That's it. That's the end of the game. So I figured I would record kind of my review of the game in the loading page of the beginning of the game. So this game was actually very interesting. I really enjoyed playing it. I just wish that there was more of it. I wish there was more to do. I wish there was more storyline. I wish there was more, just more of everything. Uh, as far as the storyline is concerned, I'm pretty sure he killed his stepdaughter. I don't think I want to know what else he did to her, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, and graphics were, were pretty cool, it was very Minecraft-ish when you looked at the walls and the ceiling and everything, but it was very well done for, it seems like it was a kind of a lower budget game, but it was very well done for a low budget. Um, <clears throat> the game mechanics were very easy to understand, the little circle got bigger when you could interact with something. and. Um, it was WASD moving around and then left click, uh, left mouse for investigating stuff. So very, very for, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, very straightforward, very simple, very easy to understand. Um, that part that I didn't understand about the the key term freedom to open up the cellar that was my that was my fault. That was just me not paying attention and all that kind of stuff. So you can ignore that mishap. Um, the game did have the tendency of crashing if I tried to switch it out, if I tried to use the Windows key to switch it out from one thing to another, but if I just kept in the game and just kept using my game caster to record, it was perfectly fine. So I think that was also me, I think that's also my fault for whatever reason, but I blame myself for everything anyway, so whatever. Uh, so. The developer's name on Steam is Jeff Ekeso, so thank you very, very much, sir, for letting me play this and letting me record this and letting me share it with the world. I know Markiplier did uh, a kind of a Let's Play of his own, well, not kind of, a, he did his own version of Let's Play, but I wanted to experience it for myself. So thank you again, sir, for that very, very much. It was greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for enjoying it with me, and thank you for going on this adventure alongside me. Along, yeah. You know what I mean. Don't question me. So, thank you guys so much again. Uh, if you want to check this out, this is fairly inexpensive on Steam. And as always, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye!